Hey guys, so I just finished this video as part of my filler content while I work on my Xenoblade 2 retrospective. However, I was not too happy how it turned out, so I want to preface this. I do not hate the Xenoblade Chronicles games. On the contrary, they are arguably the best games in the series. I just wanted to open up a discussion topic on an interesting issue with the games. So if I give off the opinion that I do not like these games, please understand, that was not my intent. Hey guys, so recently I've been replaying all the previous Xeno games as part of my retrospectives, and it's brought to my attention a serious problem affecting the Xenoblade titles in the series. It's a problem I worry could cause major problems for the staff at Monosoft when it comes to the development of future Xenoblade games, and that is the series title, Xenoblade Chronicles, specifically the Blade part of the title. I'll explain. So as most people know, the Xeno series is made up of three separate series, all created by Tetsuya Takahashi at different stages of his career. These are Xeno Gears, Xeno Saga, and Xenoblade. The Xeno part of the title comes from the Greek adjective for strange or alien. This describes the Xeno series pretty well as a series built around strange, out of this world plots involving strange creatures and supernatural powers. Meanwhile, the Gears, Saga, and Blade part of the titles refer more specifically to the themes of the individual games. Gears comes from the name of the mechs, which the 1998's game's plot is based around. Saga comes from the fact that the Xeno Saga series is a long continuous story made up of multiple games. And finally, Blade comes from the fact that the Monado is the centerpiece of the original Xenoblade on the Wii. However, it's this naming convention that I feel limits the series as it currently is. You see, Xenoblade is unique compared to the other two games in two distinct ways. For one, it was the only title in the series not made with the intention of a sequel. And second, it wasn't even meant to be a Xeno game. However, as most people know, it did rebrand as a Xeno game, and was also massively successful, giving rise to sequels. However, those sequels have a problem, and that would be the name of the series, Xenoblade. You see, due to Xenoblade Chronicles' success, the Xeno series had now officially become the Xenoblade series. This now meant that all new games had to somehow justify not only the Xeno part of the title, but also the Blade part too. And this was made all too apparent straight away in its first sequel. While Xenoblade Chronicles X keeps the giant world and MMO combat from the first Xenoblade, it changes almost everything else, including centering the story around a sword. Instead, Xenoblade Chronicles X justifies its title by calling the main organisation that the party is part of, Blade, an acronym for Builders of the Legacy After the Destruction of Earth. I don't know about you, but this seems to already be stretching the use of the Xenoblade title thin. While they probably should have kept the way cooler Japanese acronym of Beyond the Logos Artificial Destiny and Panada, the fact is we also know that Monosoft was not happy with being forced to create a game revolving around the word Blade, and this would continue into the next game. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in some respects returns to the formula established in Xenoblade Chronicles. Blades are now back to being weapons, instead of poorly thought of acronyms. However, the whole idea of the Blades now being a bunch of waifus and hearts bandos also makes me question whether or not Monosoft is again having difficulties with the limitation of the Blade part of the title. I struggle to explain exactly what a Blade is to people who have never heard of the Xeno series, and you have to admit, the concept is pretty strange. And now, as we wait patiently for the next game in the Xenoblade series, I worry that Monosoft is again having their imagination limited by having to incorporate the word Blade into their next game. Will another sword dominate the game's narrative, or will they find another weird way to justify the title? Or perhaps I'm just overthinking the whole thing. I am very curious to see what this new title being developed by Monosoft is, as this game will be free not only from the word Blade, but also the Xeno series in its entirety. And perhaps we'll finally see what a modern Monosoft can do when their imagination is finally free to run wild.